Hey guys, my name is Varun. I am the founder at supertales.com. We are a pet care startup based out of Bangalore. Do you have a pet or does someone close to you have a pet? If yes, then you would surely understand how a pet can be as close to your heart as a child. Given this, it is surprising that the child care industry is so massive and mature, while the pet care industry is tiny and offers very little support to pet owners. In this episode of the Founder Thesis Podcast, your host Akshay Tath is talking with Varun Sadana, the co-founder of Supertales. Supertales is a trailblazer in the pet care category, taking an approach of building a full-stack platform, offering content, community and commerce to pet parents. In this conversation, Varun traces his journey from ideation to go-to-market and talks about the macroeconomic trends that he is betting on and the amazing metrics of a pet care e-commerce business. Stay tuned and subscribe to the Founder Thesis podcast on any audio streaming platform to learn about leveraging microeconomic trends and reading metrics to build and scale startups. I've had pets in my life. I've had three dogs. I got a cat in 2011. And this was not the time when people around me had cats. So the first problem statement was, And it's even worse when you have had three dogs as a kid. Because you kind of assume this cat will be like a dog. And you want the cat to learn fetch. You want the cat to, you know, when you say her name, you know, you expect the, the cat to come to you and when you open the door you expect the cat to jump on you obviously none of that will happen the first interesting thing was and these were not the time when google had that kind of an extensive understanding and obviously there was no chat gpt 10 years ago and you know i remember going to a wet and this the first question they asked is why did you get a cat and then the second was a taboo and you're also from north india now why would you get a cat i mean it's such a superstitious thing you know? so so there was these things and especially when you're growing up you you move to a startup and then you you start understanding yeah real problem statements it's all at the end of their first principle right so i went to snapdeal worked there for almost five and a half years and set up lots of stuff saw the zero to one journey there and interestingly, when we, you know, my other co-founder, Vinik and I were coming out, we wanted to start something in the pet care, right? And where did that come from? You know, one thing which MBA teaches you is, yeah, our cheese go break down, karlo. So, hum to waisi chal rathe, idea thi nahi. So, we said, hey, you know, we need to figure out some idea. And the, interestingly, this, you start breaking down the problem statement in India, ki GDP pad rahi hai, to usse kya hoga, usse, uh, you know, low ki shadiyan late ho rahi hai, okay, interesting. Um, you know, d 2 c brands will start becoming bigger because people start spending on themselves. You know, that's a very common thing that we, we saw across a lot of geographies. You know, this is 2017. D2C as a word had not come into parlance back then. And and we knew brands will get built. And the, interestingly, we, we also understood that people will start spending more money on themselves. And then we had something called as an oxytocin theory, which is very interesting that we felt that as and when you know, there is this hormone in our body, which is oxytocin and it needs to get fulfilled. It's a love hormone, touching, kissing, feeling. And we, and, and what we understood was because people are getting married late, they would want this to get fulfilled. And, and then we saw that there was in India around 2017, that was the time. And we're like, damn, yeah, idea we kissed in the But next we understood was he once Tinder fulfills oxytocin, then pets, that's the ne- next step. And interestingly, that feeling of companionship is a, has happened across the globe at certain interesting junctures, right? So, so, so we we came back and we said, "Hey, pets as a category sounds very interesting." India is going through the same concept. Back in 2010, 11, 12, when I got married, people were supposed to get married at 24, 25. Now everybody is getting married around 30, and this shift suddenly happened in five to seven years. This is not going to change anytime soon. Our fertility rate has decreased from four and. 2000 and sorry, 1990, I think, to 2.1 now. So that's a very l- huge drop. 2.1 is what the 2022 number suggests. And so now we'll be growing. We'll start growing as a overall population. And what we understood was, yeah, yes, so then long-term thing is, and it's also going to happen. So it's not just a problem that we're going to check. And pet care suddenly follows a very interesting optimistic curve, right? So there has to be a right time to build it. And then, you know, it's a patient game. And once it starts getting built, it will suddenly shoot up. 
with that thesis, we went to a couple of you know investors and we understood we had absolutely no clue about fundraise. So we started meeting a few founders and we we understood to say ki karna ke. And then interestingly, in that whole conversation, uh, we and I ended up meeting Abhay and Vivek from Licious. So they had started Licious and you know it was a very small company back then and they wanted to expand and and because of this whole backend understanding on D2C that we had, we knew meat ka dhanda to banega, right? Honestly, if we didn't do this, we couldn't do this, we couldn't do this, we couldn't do this. That was a common problem that everybody was saying. But because we had all these old thesis and background, we said, hi, yaar, this is a work, part of the work. And, and we, we suddenly, we find ourselves in there, right? And, but the journey of those four years was outstanding, right? From everybody saying, dhanda bani ni sakta hai. To everybody saying, ki yaar, ye to hamare saamne bana hai, ye to hamne bana hai, right? And so, you know, the conversation saying, ye to banna hi tha, right? Matlab, but, uh, you know, Aata brand, okay, to meet the brand hona hi tha, right? So, the conversation changed in those four years, right? And this, the, the tipping point, I won't say the tipping point, but I think the one large realization happened during COVID. And, and the interesting thing that happened was that when the first lockdown happened, there is this whole oxytocin theory for us came back. We said, ki, yaar, agar ab Tinder nahi chal raha hai, can look, zyada pets mein shuru kar dehi. Aisi call decision ho gaya, matlab. And, you know, all of us have a pet, all three of us, and, you know, we, we started calling our vets, and they said, time hi nahi bara. Ye kya ho gaya, sir? Kya tha, yaar, bohat logo ne, bohat saare, they've kept cats and dogs. So, there's, we just absolutely overwhelmed with the number of pets that, that are coming to the clinic. And we came back and said, ki, boss, जो हम मजाक मजाक में ये एकेडमिक थ्योरी बना रहे थे वो तो रियल है और अगर वो रियल है तो अब दो क्वेश्चंस का आंसर करना है पहला ये कि क्या ये सस्टेनेबल है और सेकंड क्या इसमें धंधा बन सकता है राइट ऐसे तो नहीं कि कोविड वाला इट्स जस्ट अ वन ब्लिप इन कोविड एंड यू नो इज इट अ डीप मोन मोमेंट फॉर अस फॉर पेमेंट्स इन इंडिया बिकॉज़ आई मीन एवरीथिंग चेंज आफ्टर दैट वन इवेंट तो इवेंट तो भूल गए हैं बट द पेमेंट्स द वे चेंज सो इज इट दैट डीप मोन इवेंट or pet care in India. And the, obviously then, you know, we went back academic. I mean, that's something that we kind of like. And we went back and we said, hey, yeah, what is that tipping point after which a category doesn't look bad? Fringe category is a mainstay category. And we realized, yeah, any time a group of people do certain things and that group of people is more than 10%, somewhere 10 to 15%, suddenly explodes. Categories after that suddenly explode. The 10-15% of the people are doing it, right? And this is across age, not like only pet care, it's everywhere. Right? And, and just to give an example, call this the peer network effect here. I mean, we... When we're kids, or at least when we're growing up, we have girlfriends or boyfriends because, well, our friends have one. That's a peer network effect. Um, we, we buy a car because our friends, we get married because we have a right? We buy a house here, oh, so, you know, so, <laughs> so it's, it's just, you know, so I, I think that peer network effect kind of starts becoming much, much larger at around 10 to 15%. And that was a time, you know, 2017 India, my 5% household had pets in this. around mm-hmm. after this, our understanding was a 10% ho chuka number household had pets. But then we did a large scale understanding of apartments and we realized here, wahan pe, this number was close to 15%. By the way, we did a couple of, you know, some of these surveys last month itself. Larger apartments in Bangalore have anywhere between 18 to 25% of them having pets. And I will tell you what is the beauty of it, that this is a very reverse phenomena that has happened. Normally, things go from tier 1 to tier 2. This is actually the opposite. Why? You will still see in tier 2 people have pets. Why? Because there's a space. So there's a large house and so people will have pets. As soon as you move to an apartment, pets became almost zero. And then it starts. Now suddenly that number is 25, 25, 80, 20, 25%. Yeah, societies have different groups, pet parent groups. So this has become very common. You, in any society, you look from the window, you will see always a few people walking their dogs, right? And this was not a site which was earlier. So, so I think suddenly we felt things have changed and it has kind of crossed the tipping point. It has happened from the pet being a a guard dog, a functional animal, to the second step, which we are going through at a large scale, which is, you know, it be, people becoming parents to this pet. Here, it's functional, you know, it's a, you know, they, they are part of the family, but there is a third shift that is happening. And and that's what Super Tales is about, but people don't talk about it much. And that is the fact that there is a demographic difference in the set of people who are keeping pets. Imagine yourself when you were 2025, Thinking when you move to a new city, I will keep a pet. The answer is no. 
नहीं यार ये लाइफ में कौन पंगा लेगा तो आई नीड टू फाइट फॉर माई सेल्फ आई नीड टू सॉल्व फॉर माई सेल्फ द लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पीपल हू गेटिंग पेट्स टूडे इज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी इयर्स ऑफ एज एंड दे डोंट कंसिडर एज अ किड बिकॉज दे से यार मैं तो आई एम टू यंग टू हैव अ किड आई एम टू यंग टू बी अ पेरेंट दीज आर माई कंपेनियन एंड दैट कंपेनियनशिप वर्ड इज समथिंग लार्ज शिफ्ट इज हैपनिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट कंपेनियनशिप एंड यहाँ पे हमें ये भी समझ में आ गया हु आर वी बिल्डिंग फॉर एंड वी आर वेरी क्लियर वी आर बिल्डिंग सुपर टेल्स फॉर द न्यू सेट ऑफ कस्टमर्स हु आर जेन जी हु आर अर्ली मिलेनियल्स एंड दीज आर द सेट ऑफ पीपल हु विल who require so many more things what does this so many more things fundamentally you again you go back and you you know academic you guys are kuch yaar what is the difference between us and india almost 80% of people who got a pet in the last few to four years in us and europe are second or third time pet parents 95% of people are getting pets in india first time pet parents let's say you have a labrador and i have a shih tzu I mean, I Max, I can ask you five, seven things, but after that, I know you will already say, "Yeah, my dog is so cute." I mean, I have a Labrador. I mean, I I have absolutely no clue that she's so cute. Right? Now, there is so much specific information that is not available, and, and you know, now this does not. So practically, the point we are saying is it does not follow the baby human baby curve for two reasons. Number one. Human baby may, you know, the parents know. Let's say they definitely know for eight months that the baby is coming. There is so many mental, physical, physical changes over there, mental over there, and you are prepared. The baby doesn't pop out one fine day, right? I mean, there is, you know, what's going to happen. And after that, you take, a, you know, there's so many records. I have a three-year-old, so I know that पहले दो साल तो एक playbook है. ये इन दो हफ्तों में the kid will do this, and the next month you know, you will see the kid will start to do this. Absolute playbook. in pets what happens so think of a 25 year old person i went out to a party everybody is conversing about a dog and i feel hey i don't have a dog or a cat at home and i'm missing out on something i get excited i go to instagram start following dogs pages and there is this huge urge that i need to get a pet i need to get a pet and start searching should i buy should i adopt and suddenly somebody hooks me up and bam one sunday morning i go out and get a pet in the expectation that my life is going to change i will have better dates i will have you know better mental health i will have a cooler life i'll have a better friends circle I, i'll also have the same conversation with my friends i have right now i can be part of the circle also i'll get a companion there'll be so much love and cuddle up and we'll sleep and i'll name him or her this you have all of these things and bam the dog comes to the house and the life just changes and interestingly the life changes for worse for the next couple of months and it's a very very bad time and, and and by the way this follows a curve which is called as a dunning kruger effect dunning kruger effect is a well known academic concept which simply says the less you know the more confident you are it's absolutely funny when it comes to it right like the less you know the more confident you are and it takes one day for it to change because the same night the dog is not going to sleep they're going to whine the next morning you'll wake up there'll be potty everywhere and they'll be peeing everywhere the two days out will start smelling and one fine day you say hi i need to take this dog to the vet and they realize oh my god half the ubers and olas are canceling and i go there reach the vet i wait for 6 hours for the vet to tell me very nice good job done you know take it back everything is fine and and you start feeling ki yaar matlab why and then you decide ki you know your friends are going on a road trip you can't take the dog because the place is not pet friendly and this whole thing after a couple of months it's so low that exactly the place where abandonment happens you know people abandon pets yaar so at the end of they were we have managed nahi kar pa rahe i mere i i had a very different view about pets now anybody who crosses this curve will fall in love i'm sure there'll be a tipping point for you as well where you tell the world hey if you want to change your life come to japan and i'm sure it's true for like i, I see that about bangalore right? if you want to change your life come to bangalore right? it's it's an amazing once you get over the issues of the city it's a beautiful beautiful city and you know so that is called as the slope of enlightenment and yahan pe hame samajh mein aa gaya ki yaar when i take gen z and I, when when i take this nani kruger effect I totally understand what I need to build as a super team, and that's where the whole thesis started. We said, you know, and, and that's when you know you you had asked here, how did you decide of leaving super team? But this was such a solid insight for us that we said, yeah, हम नहीं बनाएंगे तो कोई और बना लेगा. And being an entrepreneur at heart, it was like, यार, you मतलब life में वैसी idea कमाते हैं ना भाई कई दिया आ गया है तो why would you like to leave it right and a uh, very very difficult decision no doubt is that the company it's absolutely very close to our, to all of our hearts and it's just been a fantastic journey but 
ये बनाना था पेट्स के लिए इफ यू कंपेयर विद ह्यूमन parent child kind of a setup so you know there is like one option is d2c like say moms go mama etc which are doing products and then you have communities moms preso and devi chakra and couple of other startups so what is it that uh, you ought to do so we were also deliberating when we understand that pet care may growth aayegi or that will also come to, from the new set of people and interestingly what we understood is that this new set of people was also not this delzi was not cooking at home so which means the packet food penetration will increase and that's what we are also seeing all the numbers show the packet food in penetration it was 150 or million back in 2015 and i think this year it should reach anywhere close to 700 to 800 million so that kind of growth this happened in the last two three years massive massive growth Uh, attributed to Gen Z, right? So, and more so because pet food is large portion of pet food. The main ingredient ends up being meat, and we understood meat. And we said, "Here, meat banana." So, us thesis ko leke when we went out factory, we knew how to build a factory, we knew how to run a factory, and we said, "Then it's about just selling that product." But we, that's where we hit a roadblock. We said, "Here, which is where?" I mean, you you, you name some of these brands, Mama Earth and Momsco. They obviously they required a platform like. you know naika to help sell their products baby care you talked about and and baby care required for scry to be a platform obviously amazon is a platform but you require specialized platform and then the second part of this question was ki yaar right obviously us mein chewy bana hai uh, china mein boki bana hai you have pet love in brazil and every place has on platform but why is it a requirement that this category be built at the back of a platform and and interestingly the answer lies in the fact that platforms get built wherever there is an indulgent behavior so you know you don't want to commoditize your purchase right so think of meat as a platform think of meat as a like meat is special sunday is meat is special i look at licious as as much as a brand as much as i look at at a platform i mean it's a platform because when person thinks about me they go to licious as a platform right so so yes it's a brand but it's more of a platform yeah meat matlab licious right wahan chale jao wahan se khareed lo right wo offline ho online ho kaise bhi ho right in a way similar manner um naika or mintra right was in fundamentally important because you're buying products for yourself and you say agar mujhe apne liye beauty product khareedna hai i want to specialize on because i'm going to spend on myself baby is even more baby, you always want to make your baby feel special so so you know if you have to buy those clothes for them you will not even go to mintra you or amazon you will go to first track yeah or, or, or some of those babies websites yeah yahan se you will get specialized products absolutely very similar for pets pets are companion and they are very special and so you know i we you we understood why these platforms were getting built uh, and coming back to your question the fundamental reason of d2c was yeah beta ye kahan pe and for that we understood yeah platform to banana padega in that thesis we had, we also were very sure ki hame d2c brand bhi banana padega and we have our own brand called hello which uh, has couple of products which are already out and a few are going to launch very very soon but that came out to be large from a requirement that had to be solved in india because most of the pet food was getting manufactured outside the country they were not solving for indian problems and indian problems end up being different and we have seen in every category that has gotten built that indian problems end up being different. did you i mean you know one way is that you build a d2c website which can eventually maybe like lishes would have started as a d2c website which then would have eventually morphed into a platform or the other approach is you take an approach that it is a platform and i will not only sell my own brand but i will also sell pedigree for example so so what approach did you want to take yeah so i'll tell you the larger approach it right? and, and products is this one part of the approach you know i just go back and say you know we talked about fundamentally the platform that we wanted to build had to solve for that here let's say tomorrow i get a pet and i have absolutely no clue what needs to be done i have to be handheld hand holding karke you have to make me cross that valley of despair iske baad main confident ho jaun then i really really can survive with this and what we understood what is kind of teen cheeze so this is a very simple case of fruity kapda and mkan we call that primary need so nobody abandons a pet because of grooming need one nobody abandons a pet ki yaar iska insurance nahi hua but people abandon a pet ki yaar khana nahi kha raha hai people abandon a pet because yaar bilkul behavior problem hai train nahi so these are the real roti kapda and mkan for pets right as a platform we said we will solve for all three the first is obviously yaar, we will sell everything under the sun because people want to discover products people want to make a very clear purchase for their platform number 
when somebody buys a product from us, we will handhold them because now we are more understanding for that customer. And pet care as a category revolves around this, largely because nobody else has that understanding of Karma Care, right? India has around 80 or 1000 vets, out of which 90% end up being for livestock. India is the largest livestock in the world, cows, buffaloes, and goats and chicken. So so most of them fundamentally end up working for that sector. Practically seven, eight thousand companion tier one cities may concentration is higher, but there's still two thousand. And you know, you the amount of you're talking about 10, 12 million pets and until two three thousand vets in India, right? So it fundamentally access to need. The second, with a large set of people coming in, supply though or problems are very small, that you don't know that the dog has not eaten, what do I need to do? Nobody is answering that question for you. But, and you want a, somebody at a position of authority to come and tell you this. You know, in a household, the daddy and the nani were at a position of authority. Oh, it's very simple. If you eat food, you can eat this. It's a problem. I don't want to go to the pediatrician. Right, but under who you know, but here who is solving it? The dog is not. Who will solve it? Simple problem. How okay? How do I know my dog is unwell? I don't even know the parameters. If I go to Google and say they will talk about fifteen of them, one of them will always be true for your pet. Right? What will happen in Google? Then the web everything ends up being cancelled in Google. Right? So practically, what we understood, we have to give people access, and we said we'll do it in a very scalable manner. People have simpler problems. So now suddenly, my product or service got chosen. And they said, hey, you come on my platform, you 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 have access to it, you have access to products, you have access to trainers, you have behaviorists, you have nutritionists. Just come and don't worry anything. We will handhold you. And to, to, to bridge this gap, we got a concept of what we call as a pet relationship manager or pet buddy, right? And everybody requires that buddy. I mean, who do you go to when you have a problem? And we said, don't rely on your ecosystem. We are giving you that ecosystem. Here is this person, just ping them and they will call you. These are people who are pet parents themselves, more experienced. They're not vets, they're not, they don't have degrees, but they have massive pet levels and no. They have seen three, four, like I've seen three dogs. I can tell basically, right? obviously not, not at a position of authority, but at least I can guide you what you need to do. And that's, that was the first layer we built. And then we built a whole layer of experts as we call it. And we gave them to the customer. I said, hey, as an ecosystem, we know what you require. The only thing we will do is come tomorrow after you get a pet to up key life change. Hogi hai, we will try and solve for the issues that you have. You should have a very enjoyable journey with your pet. You have a problem, just ask, get confidence and move on to the extent that when we know there is a problem, right? And people have issues and we say, then we guide them, go to this doctor. This is the one closest to you. We can help you book with an appointment or whatever. But the idea is to handhold them. Yeah, I mean, they have solved problems, they move on. Pet care means over tails and let's just move on. So, so that's the thesis, you know, what we wanted to build as a platform. So, you know, it was not simple that just showcase very good looking photographs and pets, put a sale there and say, hey, buy it, right? I think that's the time going on, right? Customers have a lot of options. So the differentiation of the, comes from what is the real problem you need to solve. For us, like I said, the real problem was, yeah, and inside was yeah, people who are coming in are young. It's the first pet type pet parent. Their life has changed and it has changed for the worse. And you know, interestingly, and we are here to handhold you. Yeah, solve solve Did you see this as a subscription service? Because you can't, I mean, at scale, you can't be giving this out for free. Absolutely. So so actually, you know, a lot of these are I would say, you know, the, the way we work is and in our experience of startups, what we've learned is you, you take a cohort, you do your experiments, you start scaling them up, you scale it to an extent when you, you know, then you realize, Kia, do you want to monetize it? Or are you able to create efficiencies in such a way that you have a premium service, you have a freemium service, or you have a free service? So different experiments lead to, you know, what we realize is different things. Tell me that, that journey of your experiments. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when, when we started, interesting, we said, how do we reach, how do we create a buzz that super tails this year? And we said, hey. And you're like, this is which month here? Just put a timeline on it. This is May 2021. Right. So, so we, okay. And, and, and May 2021, super tails is like a first cry, but for pets. Like, that's what you were launching. Yes. So, this whole thinking started around January 2021. Obviously, we, we were discussing when we were at Leashes. We all three of us combined had like, I think, almost two and a half years of uh, a notice period 
combined. I think I spent seven, eight months and we need seven, eight months. And I did nine, 10 months, so close to a year. After we told them, obviously that was the amount of love we had for Licious, right? So if they, if they would have asked for more, we would have given more. So we, we started thinking about it in 2020 and 2021 we moved out first two months we thought met a lot of customers built our thesis interestingly we were able to do a fundraise our first seed round back then itself got the money around april built a team in april and may and may, may june we launched so obviously we were five years more experience wiser one of the- you had a network like did that did that help Yes. So I think that's, well, that is the biggest thing that changed. Right? And I was coming to that as the most important point. I think we built a network. And and that realization came when, you know, when we understood. When, when in 2017, they started meeting funds, right? We realized that we didn't have to talk about it, but they didn't have to talk about it. Like they were giving 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and they didn't have to talk about it. They didn't have to talk about it, right? The other thing that also changed, uh, Akshay, was that the whole ecosystem also changed. I can tell you this, you know, ecosystem is just the founder network today is so helpful. You have a problem statement, you have to tell you 10 solution, right? And it's just amazing. And obviously, some of them also help in fundraise. Some of them become angels, so many angel networks. So, so a lot of things had changed. We had, you know, so much of success stories coming out of India. People were bullish. And then we also had this background with Licious where people were okay and, you know, I'm sure more confident on punting with us as a category. Um, COVID ke baad pet care, place dekha tha ki everybody was getting pets, right? So a lot of things worked in our favor, to be very honest. And timing 2021 starting was a super good timing for seed funding. So a lot of things went right in our favor, to be very honest. We didn't expect, and luckily we had some capital because of, so we, we didn't want to go out and to be very honest, raise capital. We wanted to do a PMF first, but uh, you know, you don't say no to incoming interest, right? So it happened. So right? And, and, and before we realized that in seven days, we were able to have a term sheet and it was amazing. Right. And uh, bought study, which was a one policy, large policy that we had. <laughs> yeah. The fundraise is not the end till the start. Uh, that was really right. So, so then obviously we, uh, with that high, we started to put our heads down and we said execute karna. But I think the the biggest thing that works for a startup and it, that fundamentally has not changed. That it's always an execution game at the end of the day. If you can execute it better than others, you have won half the game. Actually, most of the game gets won because of execution. We have hired launch kar diya, right? And and from an unknown person there, the website was standing and we were having the first transaction getting. So that, that was, that was super. But, but now the question was, we, we hired a few words also. Now is the time and you asked about experiments. So how did some of these things work? Theoretically, we had some idea that these products or services are joined. Jodenge. But how do they join? Very few companies across the globe have been built where product and services kind of you know, come together. This category had products and services which had to be built. So we knew we had to So our first GTM was interesting. Tha. So we said, yeah, let's build a bus. And this is around June, July. And we said, let's do one thing. Let's announce that we will give free bed consultation. And suddenly we started seeing a large set of people starting coming to Supertest because they were getting a free access to our bed. Right? And we said, this is fine. And because of these people coming to our website, they started buying products also. And so there was the phase one, as I would say, but it, it did its purpose very well, right? You know, giving ads for free consultation wasn't expensive. The tax were very, very, very low. So we weren't spending too much money on acquiring a customer. And once they came on the website, they started buying. But there was, we knew what problem will come and we kind of hit that roadblock very soon. This was not a very sustainable journey, right? One, because as soon as you make free consultation as paid, then the tax will go to the roof. And the bigger problem was that People who are coming for consultation were not buying. And the simple reason for that is in India, the penetration of packaged food is only 6 to 7%. 93% of the people basically give home cooked food. So, we said, now the website is also the same. Large set of people were coming who were not giving home cooked food. So, they had no reason to buy as well. I mean, who were giving home cooked food. So, they, they had no reason to buy. You, you were getting signups, but you were not getting transactions. Yes, and people loved us. So, people were coming to the website. They were taking a consultation. They were loving us. But they were not doing, you know, practically not making a purchase. But we knew this will happen. So the, the good thing is that we had not given any admission. How many signups did you get in, that, in those couple of months? In August itself, we did around 1,000 consultations that, that, that month. 
थाउजेंड कॉन्सल्टेशन किए थे एंड यू नो फॉर अ टू थ्री मंथ ओल्ड कंपनी आई थिंक अ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑल्सो वी वर एबल टू नॉट ट्रांजेक्शन द डे राइट सेवन एट ट्रांजेक्शन द डे मे बी राइट सो इट्स नॉट अ स्मॉल बिजनेस स्पेशली इट्स अ वेरी हाई एओवी कैटेगरी सो वी वर क्वाइट हैप्पी बट वी न्यू इट वॉज नॉट सस्टेनेबल राइट तो अब इसको फ्लिप करने का टाइम आ गए आगे बट इसको इंटीग्रेट करना था तो वी न्यू दैट द होल थिंग द वे इट विल वर्क इज दैट वी हैव टू गिव दिस customer hand holding and we slipped it in a way that anybody who comes to a website and buys a product we said we will we now know more about you we will hand hold you and we got the concept of a pet relationship on it and then we increased the number of people that we had on the veterinary side on the training side and we said yaar yeah, please use our network and this experiment started with 5% of the people in january today we reach around 25 odd percent of our customer base And in the next three months, we are now now in a stage where we are scaling up, and we found a way where we can scale it up without massive costs. Interestingly, this whole services side of it is kind of creates its own you know revenue also. So it's not a loss making entity for us. And you, what it feeds back is a massive amount of customer love and customer validation. So so our repeats have gone up by almost fifty sixty percent, and that's a massive massive number I know. Just because we are able to engage more with the customer, it was a real problem solve. Karein, yeah, products to koi bhi bech lega, but how do you engage with the customer, right? And and we learned it from Chewy. Chewy was built on customer love. We said, "Aaj hum Chewy ko emulate karke India mein ek Chewy nahi bana sakte, but unka concept doesn't change. The customer ki problem solve karni hai, wo kar." So that's kind of worked very well for us. Chewy is like a first cry. Uh, uh, what is Chewy uh, for people who don't know? So the U.S. market is around hundred billion dollars, right? And Chewy is the largest retailer in the U.S. and it's actually an online retailer. So in hundred billion dollars, it does around eight to nine billion dollars of revenue comes alone from Chewy, right? So it's it's the largest in the world. It has a, it is a listed entity. It has a I think a last we knew it its valuation was around thirty thirty odd billion dollars. Right? So it's a massive massive success in pet care. And similarly, there's Pet Love in Brazil. There is Book in China. But Chewy is only e-commerce. It's only e-commerce. It so it has services. So over time, it has started to build services. But you know, there was one thing that you talked about at the start of this conversation where you said, "This is subscription. How can I take it away?" So Chewy does it as part of the subscription model, where you know, if you if you are a subscriber to the loyalty program, and then you get start getting the services. So a lot of these models exist for like Amazon Prime kind of a yeah. So they call it they call it auto ship. So it's part of the auto ship program. Mm, got it. Okay. So you were. I, I want to zoom in on flipping the model. Initially, you said free vet consultation to get signups, and some of those would transact. Then you said, okay, if you transact, then you get some services. Was there like a minimum order value to qualify, or, or did you open it up for everybody, or like how did you do that? Got it. So, so yes, when we when we thought about the first few cohorts, so we said, yeah, let's try it with five percent. Obviously, I mean, you you first try it with hundred customers, right? And, and obviously, you pick and choose some customers, right? And then when we moved to five percent, we bigger the cohort. We said, two three another cohorts we try again. Are there certain cohorts which perform better than others? And what we realized was that is not true. Every customer. Even if so, what are the kind of cohorts that you will build? You can build it on the average order value. You can build it on the frequency of buying. You can build it on LTV. Ki yar, any customer has given me X amount of money, right? Or transacted more than a few times. Those could be the thing. What we realized was the cohorts fundamentally behave the same. So, ये समझ में आ गया इतनी इतनी coherent need a customer, इतनी inert need a customer कि जिसके लिए भी solve करोगे, that customer is happy and they will come. You chose a five percent segment of customers, and you sent them a mailer or something saying you qualify for like a free pet relationship manager. No, actually, we did not do that. So we, all we did was, if when you buy, we just call you or we message you, hey, and we tell you you don't qualify. You are there. So here is the person, and this is my name. And you know, in pet care, it's very easy. Okay, in and not very different from baby care. He the name of the pet. Is the biggest icebreaker that exists. If I ask you, hey Akshay, what's the name of your pet? Why? Because nobody asks the name of your pet. You know, are they look at that? You have a dog. I will not enter your house. Other people will come and start playing. But anybody who asks the name of a pet, you start, you know, aligning so much more with them. You know, I named him Luca. Why did I name him or her Luca? And then conversation starts. You know, this was my favorite character in this movie. And where did you get him? How old is he? What breed is he? But where is she? And this whole conversation starts. Right? This is exactly what we do. But हमें समझ में आता है कि यार लोग 
it's very similar to babies when 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 two people are talking about babies and they they talk about aapko pata hai mere bachche ne kya kiya kal you know and that guy is so amazing and they do the best thing and it's very similar with pets you know what my dog did yesterday i you know this this bugger knows when i'm going to enter the apartment ye pehle se khada ho gaya tha aapke right you know those conversations happen but behind those conversation similarly in a baby right behind those conversation is a list of a thousand issues so we kind of start with this bridge and we get over it ki yaar ye sab to acha hai hame pata hai but ye sachai batao yaar kahan kahan issues aa rahe hain you know yaar my dog has a very weird spot on you know on the skin i don't know what it is it and i read about it on google it said can be cancer what do i need to do you know the dog sometimes howls in the night in very weird manner this dog humps some of the people who comes to my house and i feel very embarrassed and what i do it's a very common problem what do you do you know this this you know it's been three months but he always pees in the house when i'm not there what do i do the dog has so much of anxiety or the cat just can't leave me whenever i'm at home and i feel is she even happy i mean these are so common but हमें पता है वो नाइनटी परसेंट हम श्योर एंड सॉल्व कर देंगे वेन बी सॉल्व इट नाउ द कस्टमर नोज यार जस्ट पिंग दिस पर्सन दिस पेट बडी ऑफ माई गिव मी गिव मी एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक सो इफ आई परचेज लेट्स ए बैग ऑफ डॉग फूड from uh, super tails then what would happen what would be the workflow or interesting okay so let's say you buy a product and let's say you buy royal canine royal canine maxi puppy it's a product you know you the the animal is a puppy it's a dog it's a puppy and i also know that it's a bigger breed it can be a, a german shepherd or you know that's one of some of the more common breeds or if you have bought labrador food to mujhe pata hai labrador ki so imagine ki mere paas conversation mein i have pointers to start so when did you get a puppy what did you name the puppy and why did you name the puppy somebody you will you will get a call obviously you get messages that we going to call it stress you know and then when you get a call you make the conversation will start and then just start with what is the name of your puppy and and, and अब मेरे को पता है पपी है ना तो मुझे आपको काफी चीजें तो मेरे को पता है कि यू वुड हैव गोन दिस थिंग हैव यू वैक्सीन यू नो सो आई टॉक अबाउट वील टॉक अबाउट दोज दी वर्मिंग विल टॉक अबाउट दोज एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर वेरी स्मार्ट दे हैव डन लॉट ऑफ दिस थिंग्स बट देन यू स्टार्ट कमिंग टू द रियल प्रॉब्लम and then we tell do you do you think your dog scratches do you think your dog pees when you don't want to right and do you think you've been able to manage or or, or simple one do does your dog know your name like you know your dog's dog's name but the, does the dog know their own name does the dog respond hey you want him to respond or her to respond right do you know the right way of walking with the dog does the dog walk take the leash right does it walk on your right hand side or your left hand side right? and and i can tell you yes there are some smart people who know it but most of the people फंडामेंटल्स नहीं पता सी हमने तो सॉल्व कर दिया बेबी केयर में कि यार मेरे को नहीं सीखना फंडामेंटल मैंने स्कूल भेज दिया वो सिखा देंगे दे दैट्स अ फैक्ट्री एंड वो सिखा दे बट यहां पे कौन सॉल्व कर यहां पे कौन सॉल्व करे पर प्रॉब्लम तो सेम है एंड एंड सडनली पीपल हैव दिस थॉट प्रोसेस दैट आई विल गेट अ ट्रेनर एंड इट विल गेट सॉल्व आई मीन व्हिच बेबी लर्न इन 2 आवर्स व्हाट नीड टू डू नो बेबी हैज एवर लर्न एंड एंड एनिमल्स ऑब्वियसली हैव लेसर यू नो ग्रे सेल्स सो दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू लर्न इन 2 आवर्स सो दे विल टेक अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट एंड द persons who will make them learn is the pet parent themselves and that's what we do we connect them to a trainer or a behaviorist and we tell them hey if these are the five step things that are you going to do in the next two months and after the first month itself you will start realizing or x number of days start with the dog has started to respond to your name to, to their name as a pet parent you need that you want that and i can tell you i never knew that cats also will start responding to their names but because we had none of these things it took us 5 6 years before my my cat's name is nifty and now it's only now that i call her by name and she'll come and start responding and we have a dialogue i wish somebody should have told me when i got nifty because imagine when she was a kitten i would have had those conversations with her back then so so ab 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 hum baat karte hain acha how was it day nifty and she responded i know and so you know i like to ask her a question but, but there is a very daily thing that we'll have you know i'll come back home and we'll sit together and we'll have a conversation is that it's it's my way of unwinding myself you said that uh, this is not a loss leader how how is that so so see when you are connecting to an expert you we have kind of built a few cohorts there i would say fortresses there where we are able to get the customer back so one way of this not being a loss leader is in simple fact that i have 50% more repeat of this customer coming to home erko obviously there you know i get that money back but not just for this obviously you know a lot of customers for the next time they come they they pay for the service 
there are certain allied categories that we run. Obviously, there are times when people want, you know, some treatment or they want some pharmacy. So we also do pharmacy through this road. So we write a prescription. Obviously, we write a prescription. So we also sell pharmacy to them. So so this has started to become like, you know, the cost of whatever we incur, they will start to, you know, get back. And the, the vet consultation is paid. The pet relationship manager is free. Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah. So, so, so today when the pet relationship manager also connects to a vet, so we don't charge for it. But, you know, there are certain cohorts where we charge. But any person who comes directly on the website and wants to talk to our vet, it's paid for that. It's a nominal fee of 300 bucks. But yeah, very happy to. Customers, what we've seen is are willing to pay for it because. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the convenience of doing it from your home is absolutely a, a big, big plus factor. Because most of the time, you may not even need to actually show your pet to the vet, but you want to discuss some anxiety you have or whatever. Absolutely. And we also feel that this whole ecosystem has not been built in the right manner. And I'll tell you why. See, pets are territorial dogs and cats both are territorial, right? I mean, they are not happy going to a vet in a cage. One, they're not used to the care. And second, they're not used to all these animals around them. Ask one pet parent, I mean, they dread the day they have to take it to the vet, right? And if... And, and we feel a large portion of these issues can be solved online. I mean, there are numbers around it, not by us, but by some companies across the globe where they say they claim 91% of issues can be solved online. And we, we, our numbers also, by the way, show a similar case. And what we've realized is that obviously these customers will keep coming back for issues which are which don't require any kind of surgery or a massive amount of physical check or, or a conscious. And, and by the way, you know, that way is, because we don't have to earn money through, you know, putting a knife or, or, or doing a surgery. I mean, it's easier for us to be more clear on the kind of consultation that we end up doing. I want you to go to a vet and show it to them physically. That's exactly what we do. This is what I'm thinking. You can always come back to me for a second opinion. But I think you really need to take your way, dog to the vet. Right? You want to build a prime? Like a prime subscription kind of a model where you charge something and then for the you know all of this gets bundled into that or do you want to continue to do this as a way to build repeat purchase is the average order values and you know overall increase the long-term value of the customer you're absolutely right it's 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 not a question of if it's a question of when so obviously there are certain priorities and and we are a small lean team so some of these things will keep coming and Definitely, definitely, this is something that we have to build. So, as in right now, you're still building in the pieces which add more value, like you're creating more features so that you can eventually bundle it and monetize it. Hundred percent. So, two two parts. Actually, first, obviously, there are P zeros and you solve for P zeros. And second, there are certain things which work better at a scale. So today, you know, if I know that okay, a loyalty program will increase my repeat and average order value. I can quantify that number. So so now it's only a question of doing that. But if I have something else which I want to try today because it might think these are repeat much larger. So I would I would focus my energies on that. See the known it. It's known for everyone as pre service will work, the loyalty program will work. So so it's just the function of when, so not the question of if and how do we kind of create that a real service this way actually may value. Like Amazon Prime is absolutely worth every penny it's absolutely worth every penny and and without naming some of the other subscriptions that we have i mean you oh. question other us mein dusra partner us mein aur 30% of extra time email bhej deta hai to main bolta chal is bar wo le lete hain because fundamentally i'm going to get the same service right what is the differentiation you know delivery free to karni hai matlab and you in your head you calculating me 300 400 rupees de raha hu mere 10 order hote hain to main 30 rupees bachata hu so it is just barely covering that cost. What are the P zeros in front of you right now? Like you know, the, the more things that you want to try and solve, uh, or the experiments you want to run. Yeah. So I, you know, without going into too much detail, actually, I think the largely it has to be built on repeat. We have, and how well, how better are we able to? You know, I told we reach around twenty five percent of the people. So I think the biggest thing is how can I scale it up to, let's like, say, you know, seventy five percent of the people. Fifty percent ka marbas clarity hai. The next twenty five percent is being thought about because, and this liver. Imagine if when I do seventy five percent of the people using my production service integration, and to them I pitch, hey, there is my loyalty service. Why would anybody go out of the ecosystem? I don't want to sound that we want to take it slow, but we have to rationalize it. I mean, there's certain things you can always hire people, right? And what we have seen, at least our experiences, a lot of times we see so many 
companies shutting down or, or you know, they're, they're firing people. I mean, you don't want to be in that stage. So there are priorities. Okay, it's okay. But where the question is, if we have to do this for 6 months, then obviously we take a call and we hire a person. So it's just a matter right. of that. So you want to figure out a way in which, like say, you have, 10 pet relationship managers covering 1,000 or 5,000 customers. So you want to figure out a way in which these same 10 customer, these pet relationship managers can cover twice the number of customers. Like, like that is... Correct. Or it is the experiments are happening as we speak. Ye domenim experiments ho jayenge. And, and obviously, that is also a time frame that we look at. This is a subscription service coming. So everything I'm talking about is nothing is like a punch or shave. Right? Everything is a couple of months here or there. Right? So, you know, I was just trying to answer here. Why has it not been done? By now, till now, right? In one and a half years of existence, right? That might even be done in the next two, three months. It's... What is the way in which you are improving the number of customers you can cover with the same human resource, like with the same pet relationship managers? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, interestingly, a lot of these technologies exist. So the conversational chat is here. You know, scaling up without losing the efficacy. So scaling up is easy without losing the efficacy is a difficult part. Today, we get a certain repeat when we do it in a certain manner. The, the the experiments that we're doing is largely one how do we scale up without the loss of efficacy and i think that's the focus so but on terms of mediums that exist i think whatsapp is a medium is very solid the whole conversation ai conversation etc chat gpt etc is quite exciting there are certain cases of voice ai also trying to get solved we have not tried it yet we're just exploring it as we speak and you know I also feel today it's quite raw. When I call you, I start having all those discussions with you. So now is the experiment is yet how quickly am I able to reach to those issues? Fundamentally, with the issues because I, that's what I solve. So our conversation, so in a very simple manner, it is the spiel, the spiel. In a more complex manner, it is the whole structure of how I break through you and figure out what is the issue. And so multiple ways so it's a very multifaceted problem i think hey about choti choti cheese so you know even if i say it you will feel achay about choti cheese lag but you know that one single sms or a type of sms which works when it goes to a large base of customer it just works wonders so so that's how we look at some of these things amazing amazing okay and how are you building your pet relationship manager team are you like hiring and training or are you looking at hiring specific kind of profile or like you know are you like Hiring for empathy and training for knowledge on pets, or are you like, what is the way in which you're doing it? Awesome. It's amazing that actually you've told me the answer also. So, this is built on three things. One is absolutely clear understanding that they have had pets in life or they have a pet. So, and in the understanding of the pet. The second is massive amount of empathy. And that, interestingly, in pet care is not very difficult. You have a conversation with somebody for 30 minutes and you'll be 90% sure, you know, are there really a pet lover or are they faking it so so that is the part number two and the soft skills so for a pet relationship manager these are the three large things that we look at the training is something that we know we take care of and so we, we're not worried if somebody then some people who know a little bit more than others which is fine but honestly that's not a requirement it's 15 day crash course and then a, you know a couple of hours every week that kind of refreshes them and because we have a large set of vets you know, everybody is happy because if somebody genuinely loves something, they would like to know more. Also, a lot of times, you know, these people have similar issues with their own pets. So, you know, they are able to solve it. So, you know, I, I remember I, I we hear a lot of these calls in one of the calls. And it was amazing that, you know, the pet parent talked about that this is an issue that the pet is going through. And this pet relationship manager said, hey, wait, my dog is going through exactly the same thing. But you know what? I never knew this was an issue. Right? And, and now... You know, and then this person shifts on a video call and, you know, both of them are showing the dogs to each other. Then there is something here. And our parents said, hey, I, I never thought it was a problem. And thank you for helping me because otherwise I wouldn't have. And both of them then go into consultation with the vet. And interestingly, it was nothing, right? It, interestingly, it was not an issue. But, you know, I actually remember that call because, you know, how much confidence you as a customer will get that yes, this is my problem, it's solvable and it's all the right? So, it's not solvable. Right? It's not It's more community feeling uh, which kind of helps. So, soft skills, being a pet parent and empathy is the three things. In the long term, do you think you'll be able to replace a PRM with tech? Because essentially a PRM is following a playbook that, okay, let me ask these questions, find out what is the core issue and then 
give some suggestions and then do a follow up and if there is an escalation then i escalate and i so you know does it seem like something which could be replaced by tech yeah so if we talk about very long term you know i think it should happen short term the the india has a very interesting problem every person's want is different the solution is both and let the customer choose and this is what we feel at some level isn't getting so and, and the question is also yeah ki do you need you know a lot of times a lot of companies what they've done is just put a bot and the bot keeps answering the bot doesn't understand half the things that we are saying in india we don't have english also in english you know combination of indian and english or a regional language in english so so the answer is three four it is a combination of ai human and between both of them voice and chat so it's a two by two and and between this two by two lie all the people my sense is you know it is evenly split or you know it is in a proportion where you can't ignore any cohort so help me understand superintendents from the business perspective what kind you know what kind of average order values do you see what is like the how many times in a month or in a year does an average customer transact and like share with me some of those metrics for people to understand this space a little better absolutely so pet pet parent ki baat kar rahe hain so it's a decently high average order value business and where does it come from so so the way it works is that there are three types of people one obviously which is not so much relevant for us people who don't give package food or who give home cooked food to their pets the second chunk is much larger which gives a mixture of home cooked food and package foods and then there is one set which is the growing set of people who only give package food to their so there is obviously a decent amount of difference between packet food and uh, on you know home cooked food and one of the larger i would say problem statement is that you know a balanced diet for a pet is very very different and uh, you know at the cell pellet it was table scraps which you know pets used to have over time i know it has changed but it's impossible to give a balanced diet to a pet because it's practically quite different from a human diet you know they need taurine they need some of these things which humans don't require in that proportion right vitamin k and vitamin some of these other things but the point being that still a large portion of people mix packet food and home cooked food but coming to what is the imagine somebody who only gives packet food the cost of food ranges between 200 bucks to 800 bucks per kg if you have a medium sized dog let's say 30 or kg the proportion is quite clear they need to 2 to 3% of their body weight as food every day so if you do the max the cost will range anywhere between 5000 to 10000 basis in average size of the dog obviously if somebody has a very large dog or a very small dog these numbers will differ so 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 the cost of keeping a pet only on the food front for a month ranges between 5000 to 10000 rupees right now some people take smaller packs which will last them for a week some people will most of the people like i said mix packaged food and home cooked food so in case maybe we realize this number will change from 2500 bucks to 5000 rupees because it'll half it'll not become zero and so the average order value ranges somewhere around this number itself for us which to 5000 yeah correct so and and which you would realize is very 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 different from any other category because most of the category end up being between 500 to 1000 bucks but some really good categories end up being 1500 bucks but here the average order value is very high also the margin structures are quite good this this category sees margin such as between 30% to 50% basis the type of product so it's you know an average of 40% is not a bad average but then there are the other side of the problem statement which is also the fact that these products are heavier because there is the weight is higher so the you know cost of shipping becomes much higher as against you know personal care which will always lie mostly 500 grams this you know people are buying our average weight is around 5 kg so 5 kg is a products being transported to you know air or surface so supply chain is cost and stuff you know network uh, supply chain networks end up being quite different for us but, but this is pretty incredible so this is like a in the long run an extremely profitable business i mean even like nike is seen as the poster child of profitable e-commerce and i think your average order value is higher than what they get and probably better margins also yeah 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 yep. so yes like you know this was one of the parameters that we looked at that this category has an inherent way of being profitable this is not a 1 2% percent ka business so category mein the the reason why probably it may be slow in reaching that is, is the scale the category is at right now so aaj it's a sub billion dollar package food industry obviously in the next 5 years 
hopefully it will be a three to four billion dollar industry and and also those those are aggressive numbers but you know even when that happens obviously this category will see a massive amount of growth profitability is category mein ban, banti hai and customers come once a month or more frequent like on an average yeah so the average buying behavior that we've seen is 35 days so yeah so so the customers who come much more frequently and and look we also have for us offerings are massive or is maybe akshay i would tell you the cohort of people is absolutely very very uh, different right so anybody who gives wet food let's say a cat wet food will not buy for a very long term they'll keep buying and they'll keep keeping some packets like paint packets or like i have a cat and you know i don't buy for more than 10 days i just buy a I give one packet a day. I'll buy a pack of twelve, pa- twelve, and I'll keep repeating. I'll keep repeating because just like the next time, I was like, "I need to buy a toy. I need to buy. I don't buy for like. I don't keep like a fifty odd packet." But this interestingly is like is absolutely different for everyone. It there is no standard way to order a packet. Like, like it's absolutely different for everyone. It there is no standard pack like was Sarah Lenka pack or that or for for baby or or diaper pack of twenty four. There's no not too much of standardization. Every brand does it differently because. the brands practically when most of these brands are from out for out in the country so something works for them in france and, and you know it's the same pack size which comes to india something works for them in thailand yeah. and the same pack size come here and something works for them in us and the same pack size come here what, what percentage of your sales is your in house brands you said you launched the same in house brands yeah so so it's it's quite small right now because the the only category we've launched is one product which is a nutrition topper the brand is called henlo and interestingly this is this is solving for the 93% of people who don't give packaged food where we say hey you need you give home cooked food it's not complete so why don't you sprinkle on top of it so so yeah today so today at the scale that we are we sell around 2000 to 2500 boxes a month we will give more than that last month so 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 those are the so it's, it's growing but but the target segment for that product is very different very soon you know in the next couple of weeks we will launch dog dry food that's that's when we'll be like you know that that's a mainstay product in this category so very excited for that so let's see how that product grows because it's going to be probably the only product which is going to sell online only and like a new age brand you know they, the the whole uh, industry structure was so tilted towards an offline kind of a thesis right and one question let's talk about this offline only like you know like mamas all of them are going offline also now with their retail like retail experiences retail stores etc so like that is like something you also think in the long long term i mean right now obviously it will be spreading yourself too thin yeah so you bang on the first part of the you know answer that the answer today is probably wait and watch largely because we need bandwidth for it and i think online as a space is something that is absolutely open and we want to win that offline in the future we are quite closely looking at this category of how we believe ki offline bhi waise solve nahi karenge hoga jisse se aaj hota hai specialty store khol ke solve nahi hoga in the long run aaj solve hota hai because aaj access kam hai accessibility nahi hai right but if you want to go to a larger base of people what if what is the offline format that works for them is going to be a little bit different we have some ideas around it but i think we'll we'll reserve those ideas for the time when we are happy to launch and it's definitely not the next 6 months that's something that we are absolutely clear but we have not at all said no to that whole concept we believe there is some power in offline it's just that is this category can solve karna hai because see if my average order value as our average order weight is 5 kg i am not expecting everyone to be okay in in in, in carrying that 5 kg pack the second thing like i also you know mentioned the start my my target segment is gen z I, you know in in the next two or three years i'm expecting that gen z's are will be okay in carrying that pack five year five kgs you know how is there you know that gen z plus offline this is how does it come together is something that we'll be very close looking at but like startup teaches you never say never never say no to anything actually i can tell you we did a, a fundraise last year which was around june july yeah we announced it a couple of months later at that time this was the 10 million dollar series here. yeah with with fire side we yeah, are that time we were around close to 5 million era and obviously for, we are a small startup today obviously we grow in double digits every month so i think that's that's the zero to one which kind of keeps us excited so yeah so that's how we're growing right now so it's it's a, it's a good journey yeah amazing
what works on Instagram? Like long form video, reels, images, what, what, what has worked for you? Interesting. So I think Instagram in the last one and a half years, two years has changed massively, drastically. When we started and the, the, the brands which have been built, built before that, so there was this whole post-COVID brands who come, started coming and getting built, right? And that time, the influencers, larger micro influencers, etc., was what took people during COVID, right? And interestingly, very early we found out it's on each other. Influencers probably after a while doesn't work. Maybe not in our category. One thing we never wanted to do was we didn't want to have those videos of good-looking dogs and cats, and we didn't want people to just say, "Yeah, like a good right? photograph." So that's something we didn't want to do. Just produce high-quality content, and after that, just leave it to you know data. 